guys and welcome back. Today I'm outside in beautiful, sunny Itabedaí, Goiás, Brazil. Today's lesson we're going to be talking about two words, sympathy and empathy. These two words are very similar and many people use them as synonyms. You know what a synonym is? There are two words who are uh, sound, uh, similar, they almost have the same meaning, but uh, they do mean two different things. But as always, guys, before we get started, please hit that subscribe button for me and also like my page. It will always, it will always be appreciated. So let's get into the lesson today. We're going to be talking about two, these two words, sympathy and empathy. Sympathy and empathy are both feelings you may have when something, when something bad happens to you, when something bad happens to you. But empathy is much deeper, much, a uh, much deeper feeling, much uh, than sympathy. It's a much deeper feeling here in the heart than uh, sympathy. So let's look at each word. Let's look at the word uh, sympathy. Sympathy is a feeling you have when, when something bad happens to you or to someone else. It is a feeling of understanding, of understanding. You understand that your friend or a family member or somebody went through a bad time and you feel sad. You feel sad for them. You feel sympathetic. You may want to help that person feel better or help that person do something that's going to uh, make them get back up on their feet and move forward. Here's some examples of sympathy, being a sympathetic person. I'm sorry that your dog died. Can I give you a hug? Can I give you a hug? Here's another one. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for the death in your family. Is there anything I can do for you? Here's another one. I'm sorry that you broke your arm. I'm sorry that you broke your arm. Can I help you carry those groceries into your house? Uh, here's another example. Hmm. I heard that you broke up with your boyfriend. Do you want to go grab a cup of coffee and talk about it. This is being a sympathetic person. And the last one, just look at this one. Uh, Nick has some flowers because she was in the hospital. He wanted to make her feel better, make her feel good. So Nick sent her some flowers to the hospital. This is being a sympathetic person. This is being a sympathetic person. Somebody who cares about uh, something that happened to someone and you want to uh, do something about it, you know? Okay, so let's look at the word empathy. Let's look at the word empathy. Empathy is closely related to sympathy, but empathy has a much deeper emotion or feeling, more deep, more deep emotion or feeling. Empathy is when you feel the same emotion as someone else. Something may have happened to you that's happening to your friend or family member before, so you feel more empathetic. It's a much deeper emotion and feeling. Empathy is when you feel the same emotion as someone else. For example, if you hear that your neighbor's dog died, and you feel very sad that that happened to your neighbor's dog or cat because it happened to your dog also. Your dog died also. So you feel more empathetic towards that person because it happened to your dog also. Uh, here's some examples. Here's some examples. I'm sorry that your dog died. I understand how you feel because my dog died 
last year and I was very sad. You must be sad also. Uh, here's another example. I'm sorry for the loss of your father. I know how you must feel because I lost my father last year. Here's another one. I heard you broke up with your boyfriend. My boyfriend left me a few months ago. He broke my heart. So I know how you're feeling. Here's another example. When she was in the hospital, Nick sat by her bedside every day. He remembered when he was in the hospital and no one visited him, so he know how she must feel. It is possible to have a sympathetic and an empathetic, a sympathy and empathy at the same time. It's possible to have both of these feelings at the same time. So, Listen to this lesson often. This is the difference between sympathy and empathy that I just explained to you. Review the video often so you will not get these two synonyms confused. And as always, guys, please like my page and hit that subscribe button for me if you have not already done so. And as always, it would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys, as always, go out there and have a great day. And I will see you doing the next lesson. Okay? Bye.